Hey everybody, it's Jason from Code Monkeys, and welcome to another Code Monkeys tutorial. In today's video, we will be going over some more basic conda commands. So let's first open up a terminal, and you'll notice that I'm in the base conda environment. And just one quick note is that it is recommended that you do not install any programs in your base conda environment. So if you need to install a program, be sure to create a new environment, activate that environment, and then install the program in that environment that you created and we'll demonstrate how to do that in this video. Also, all the commands I'm going to run in this video can be found on the Conda 4.6 cheat sheet which I've attached to the description of the video and they can also be found on the Conda website. So the first command we're going to run is Conda info and this will give you various information about your Conda environment such as your Conda version which for me is 4.6.14, your Conda build version which for me is 3.17.8, the Python version for your active conda environment which for me is 3.7.3 it'll tell you what your active environment is which for me is the base environment the active environment location the shell level and a bunch of other information and you can also update conda by running conda update dash n base conda and I've already updated my conda so I'm not going to run this command and you can also update conda by simply running conda update conda and if you run this command and you have an update that you can install, you just simply enter Y when prompted, and it's recommended to keep Conda up to date. And we can also update Anaconda by running the command Conda update Anaconda. So this will update all packages to the latest version of Anaconda, and will install the most stable and compatible versions, which are not always necessarily the most recent versions, so that's something to keep in mind when updating Anaconda and once again it's recommended to always have Anaconda up to date as well and I've already run this command so I'm not going to run it and then we can also create a new conda environment by running the command conda create dash dash name then the name that you want to give your conda environment so we'll go with m1 and then you can also add on any packages that you'd like to install when creating the environment so we'll do for example biopython so this will create the Conda environment env1 with the bio python package already installed. So after it loads, all you have to do is simply enter y to proceed. And now the env1 Conda environment has been created. So we can activate that environment by typing Conda activate env1. And now you'll see that we are in the env1 conda environment and we can go back to the base conda environment by typing conda deactivate now we're in the base conda environment and then if we go back to the env1 environment by typing conda activate env1 we can also go back to the base conda environment by typing conda activate and now we're back in the base conda environment and we can also run conda info dash dash Ems. So this will list all of our conda environments. So you see that we have the base conda environment, the env1 conda environment, and it'll give you the file path to each environment, and the asterisk will tell you which conda environment is currently active. And you can also determine what version of Python your environment is using by running the command python dash dash version. So for us, you'll see that it's 3.7.3 which we also saw when we ran the conda info command when we were in the base conda environment. And you can also create an environment that uses a different version of Python by running the command conda create dash dash name, then the name you want to give it, so we'll go with m2, and then the version of Python that you'd like to install with it, so we'll go with 3.6. So this will create the conda environment m2, and it will have the Python 3.6 version installed with it, press Y to proceed, and then we can activate this environment by typing conda activate m2. Now we're in the m2 environment and we can check that Python version by typing python dash dash version and here we have the Python 3.6.8 version. So you'll notice here that it will give you the most stable and compatible release of Python 3.6 if you're not more specific, so we could have had example 3.6.1, 3.6.2, but if that's not specified, it'll give you the most recent and most stable version of Python. And you can also create an environment with a different version of Python and with any packages you'd like to install by running the command conda 
create and then dash dash name and then the name you want to give it so we'll go with m3 and then the version of python so we'll do python 3.5 and then we will install the package beautiful soup 4 so this will create the m3 conda environment with a python version of 3.5 and the beautiful soup 4 package already installed press y to proceed and then we will activate that environment by typing conda activate m3 and now we're in the m3 environment and we can check the python version again by typing python dash dash version and you'll see that the python version is 3.5.6 and we can also list all the packages and versions in the active environment by running the command conda list and here we can see that the beautiful soup 4 package has been installed and the Python version is 3.5.6 and you'll see that we the other packages that come installed when you create a conda inversion a conda version are also listed here and we can also search for packages by using the command conda search and then you will give it the name of the package you want to search for so we could do bio python for example and this will list multiple versions of BioPython. So you'll see that you have the 1.6 versions and you have the 1.7 versions. And you can also be more specific with your search. So for example, we could do conda search BioPython is equal to 1.73. And this will list all of the 1.73 versions of BioPython. And you can also install the BioPython package or any package by typing the command conda install then the name of the package you want to install so we can install BioPython and this will install the most recent stable and compatible version of BioPython if you're not specific so you could have done BioPython 1.73 etc and then you just press Y to proceed here and we can also activate an environment by running the command conda activate and then you can give it the file path so for me that would be home and then you just do your username which is Jason in my case and then you would do anaconda3 and then the ems directory and then the environment you want to activate so we'll do env1 and now we're in the env1 conda environment so this will be the same for you if when installing Anaconda you chose the default install location. And if we go to the Anaconda 3 directory and then to the ems directory, then we list that. You'll see that this has all of the environments that we created. So we have env1, env2, and env3. And we can also list the packages and versions in a named environment by running the command conda list dash dash name and then the name of the, uh, the of the environment that we want to list. So we could do M2, for example. And here you'll see all of the packages that we installed when we created the Conda environment M2. And we can also list any revisions made inside an active environment by running the command Conda list. And then we will do the dash dash revisions. So here you'll see that in the env1 environment, we only have rev0. So this is the, what happens when, when you initially create the con environment. That will be denoted by the rev0. And we can also list any re revisions inside a named environment by running the command conda list dash dash name, then the name of the environment. So we'll go with m3 and then we will do the dash dash revisions. So this will list all the revisions made for the M3 Conda environment. So here you'll see the Rev0, which is the revision that happens when you initially create the Conda environment, and then Rev1. And this corresponds to any packages that you installed after creating the Conda environment. So if you remember, we installed the BioPython package after creating the M3 environment. 
And we can also abbreviate some of these conda commands by replacing the two dashes with one dash followed by the first letter of the command. So for example, we could do conda list dash n m3 dash dash revisions and it'll give us the same output but that won't always work for every command so you can check the command reference on the conda website to see which commands it will work for and we can also restore an environment to a previous version by running the command conda install and then the name of the environment you want to restore so for example we could do dash n m3 and then dash dash revision and then the revision number so we'll go with zero and then we'll run that command and this will give us the revision zero for the m3 conda environment and press y to proceed and then if we run the command conda list dash n m3 dash dash revisions you'll see that we have revision 0 which is what happens when we initially created it and then we have rev 1 and you'll notice the plus sign there means that we added on all these packages and then for revision 2 which is what we just did we got rid of all of these packages that we installed when we created revision 1 and you can also restore revision 1 by running the command conda install dash n m3 dash dash revision and then 1 and so this will revise the conda environment m3 to the revision 1 environment and then you just press Y to proceed. And then if we do the conda list dash N M3, and then we do dash dash revisions, you'll see that we now have a rev3, which then added back the packages that we added in revision one. And we can also delete an entire environment by running the command conda remove dash n then the name of the environment you want to remove so we'll remove m3 and then you do dash dash all and then you just simply hit y to proceed and then you should also note that you cannot remove an environment if you are currently in that environment so if we tried to remove m1 right now it wouldn't let us because we're currently in that environment and you'll see that the m3 environment has been removed so if we run the command conda info dash dash m's you'll see that now we only have the base conda environment the m1 conda environment and the m2 conda environment and you can also search for more detailed information about package versions with the command conda search and then the name of the package you want to search for so example we could do beautiful soup four and this will list more detailed information about the various versions of beautiful soup four so you'll see that there's a 4.4 version 4.5 version etc and you could also get even more detailed information by typing conda search beautiful soup dash info and it's actually dash dash info. So this will give you much more detailed information about the various versions of Beautiful Soup 4. And we can also remove a package from a named environment by running the command conda uninstall and then the name of the package you want to remove. So for example, we could do BioPython and then we follow that by 
the dash n. And then the name of the environment that you want to remove the package from. So for example, we could do env1. If I could spell uninstall correctly. And this will remove the BioPython package from the conda environment env1. And then we can do the press Y to proceed. And then if we do a conda list, you'll see that BioPython is no longer listed in the installed packages for the env1 environment. And you can also update all of the packages in a named environment by running the command conda update dash dash all and then dash n followed by the name of the environment you want to update. So for example, we could do m2 and then run that. So this will update all of the packages we have installed in m2 and as you can see, all of my packages have already been updated for the conda environment m2 and finally we can install multiple packages without having to confirm the installation by running the command conda install dash dash yes followed by the names of the packages you want to install so for example we could do bio python and then beautiful soup four and then we will run this command and this will install the BioPython package and the beautiful soup 4 package and you'll notice that we didn't have to press Y to confirm the installation and then if we run conda list you'll see that we now have the beautiful soup 4 package and the BioPython package installed in our MV1 Conda environment. All right, so that's some of the basic Conda commands. And as you can see, it is a very powerful tool and we have only scratched the surface. So in a future video, we will get into some of the more advanced concepts and commands found in Anaconda. But that's all for right now. And we hope that the video helped. And if it did, be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next video.